But the problem is 95% of our life is coming from the programs of life, how to live life that we get in the first seven years of life. The movie The Matrix is not science fiction. It's a documentary. Every human, and it's a fact, Every human, first seven years, is, uh, is download a hypnosis. The brain of a, a child under seven is in a lower vibrational frequency. When you put wires on a, a person's head, you read electroencephalograph, reading brain activity. A child below seven has a lower vibration than consciousness. It's called theta. Theta is imagination. Oh, that's how kids play a, a tea party with mud pies. But to them, it's a real thing. A kid rides a broom. It's a horse. It's, that's theta, imagination. Theta is also hypnosis. And the idea is this, before you can become conscious, if you don't have any programs, what are you gonna be conscious of? It's sort of like, I buy a new iPod and I take it out of the box and I push play and nothing happens and you think, oh my God, I spent all the money and the damn thing isn't working. And then some little seven-year-old kid comes up and says, well, you, mister, you, you didn't download any music, how are you gonna play something? And I go, that's the same thing. Uh, it's like the brain is like the iPod. Consciousness is the screen where I can create. But if I don't have anything in the hard drive, I can't create. So nature makes the first seven years. How, what kind of programs are required to live on this planet? I say, how do you get them? Theta is hypnosis. You just watch. You watch your parents, you watch your siblings and your community because you have to learn how many hundred thousand rules. Think about it. Just to be a functional member of a family and a functional member of a community, there are rules. I teach an infant these rules. I say, oh, you don't have to. First seven years, they just they observe it and just download it. And, and, and then I say, well, why is it relevant? Because this is the unfortunate fact. 95% of our life, this is a fact, comes from those programs in the subconscious. Every day, only about 5% of the life are you using conscious, which is creative. 5%. So your life is being lived even though you think you're living your life. Exactly, and you don't see it because it's called subconscious, below conscious. Uh, and the Jesuits, for 400 years, they were boasting, people didn't understand. They say, give me a child until it's seven and I will show you the man. They've been saying that for 400 years because they knew seven years was the program period. And 95% of your life after that will be whatever that program is. So Angelina Jolie runs in a family where there is cancer and I say, yeah, they have the gene. I said, that didn't cause it. It was the behavior that was passed on. Behavior is passed on, not like genes. It's passed on through families, right. but it's passed on through learning in families. Okay. In your lecture on the biology of belief, you made this um, analogy at the end of a camera and then an eye and how the camera kind of inverts the image and puts it on the film. And yet with our eye, we take it, invert the image, and then we put it through a filter in our brains. Right. And this is what you're talking about. The first seven years of your life puts a filter on everything. Absolutely. How do you behave? Of, right. Yeah. There's millions of rules. So you and I can look at two separate things, or two things, and completely have different conclusions. Right. And it's just based on how you grew up, what you see. You know, look, this is not new. I mean, there's the famous book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Sure. And basically said, you come from a poor family and you could struggle your whole life and try to get rich, but you're not going to make it. And if you come from a rich family, you could be stupid your whole life and make it. Not because it was thinking, but it was unconscious behavior that was downloaded from rich families into kids, uh, which is unconscious. So they're, they're making the right moves unconsciously. If they engage their conscious mind, then they look stupid, but it's unconscious. And that's the same thing with poor people. Poor people have beliefs from the family Oh, you can't make it, life's a struggle, things are hard, who do you think you are? And if that's the program you get, then 95% of the day you will sabotage yourself. And that's why poor people stay poor and rich people stay rich, because of the programming. We need to raise our children differently. Is that what you're 100%, saying? 100%, conscious what do we do? parenting. What do we do? Well, we have to recognize, number one, that 95% of our behavior is coming from subconscious. So a child is gonna record for seven years and they're gonna record you, you have a new baby. That baby is gonna look at you because you are the parent. They, the first thing a baby learns in the first week or two of life, who's the parent? Very important because that's the reference point. If anything goes in their life, they're gonna look at the parent first thing. A, a child on a playground uh, is on a swing, falls off the swing on the ground. First thing it does is look at the parent. If the mother's like, ha, ah, the kid starts crying. But if the mother goes, get up and get back on a swing. The kid gets back up on a swing. It's reflection. 
So you have to recognize a child is going to observe every move of you. And then you also have to recognize, well, hell, if 95% of it is coming from my invisible programming, I'm going to pass on the family pattern unconsciously 95% of the day. Family, country, society, pattern. The, the whole pattern, whatever you, the pattern of growing up, the programming. Okay. Unless I make a conscious effort? To a conscious effort to change your programming. Subconscious mind learns in two fundamental ways naturally. Hypnosis, which is the first seven years. And after age seven, how do you put new programs in? Repetition. Practice. You want to drive a car, you didn't learn, learn how by just getting in the seat and put the key in. You had to practice driving the car. You want to learn uh, the alphabet. How many times did you go from A to Z, uh, you know, try to go to A to Z before you can complete it? And once you completed it, you didn't have to go back and do it again. So two phases. You want to train the subconscious mind? Hypnosis. Uh, repetition. The, uh, I like the last one because there's a new phrase that's bandied about called fake it till you make it. Mm. Meaning if you're not a happy person, I say you want to be a happy person, then repeat all the time. I'm happy. I'm happy. I say, well, you don't look happy or anything. You say, no, I, wh who am I talking to? By repetition, I'm talking to subconscious. Okay. If subconscious gets I am happy and 95% of your life comes from that subconscious, there will be a point once the subconscious got I am happy, you don't have to say it again. Okay. It'll and, be automatic. And that that's point. why we pe see people do affirmations and gratitude journals and stuff, because if you do that daily... Re it's repetitive. And that's, the, that's the secret part. Look, putting a sticky note on the refrigerator is more like a suggestion, but it's not a repetition. So it doesn't work very well. But you have to do... Repetition is a, is a habit. You, it's making habit. So you got to do something religiously in the sense of repeating it, repeating it, repeating it to make it work.